You don't want to be invisible, do you? Neither do I. In fact, I refuse. We're going to talk about style today and how you're never invisible if you've got style. Style does not have to be expensive. Style is something, for some people it's innate. They just got it. But for some people, you can learn. Now, I wore this outfit on purpose. They call this high-low style. I'm wearing, what, a Levi shirt, right, out of denim material, and I'm wearing a fancy necklace. So you've got the low and the high, and that's part of style. You know, I said that it didn't have to be expensive. This is called a creel, and you wear this when you go fishing because you measure the fish. See, it's got one, it's got measurements one through eight, right? And then you put the fish in here. Well, I wore this as a purse for a whole summer. In fact, the people at the fishing store couldn't believe that I was wearing this as a, as a purse, but it was great fun. It caused, everybody commented because everybody, this was up in Sun Valley, Idaho. So everybody knew that this was a creel and they couldn't believe that I was wearing this as a purse. But that's part of style. It's taking something that is not meant to be a purse, wearing it as a purse. I don't even know if they sell creels today, but this was my purse. Um, this pin, it was my mother's. I love it, but I doubt if it was expensive when she bought it. And now I don't know how old it is, but it gives me such great pleasure to wear it. But again, it's wearing, maybe it's your mother, maybe it's your grandmother, maybe it's jewelry from, well, maybe you're going, go to a thrift shop, find jewelry there, find old wonderful pieces. I love going, I love going to peddler's fairs and seeing what they have there. Uh, it doesn't have to be expensive. In fact, I don't think it's stylish if somebody's wearing a Chanel suit, a Chanel purse, a Chanel pin, a Chanel hair ornament, a Chanel shoes. That isn't style. That's just money. So what I'm saying is you don't need money. You just need an eye. Um, a long time ago, I went to the LA County Museum of Art and I saw this this bangle and I liked it because it had all of these colors so I loved all the colors bought it and wore it then went to the Palm Springs Museum of Art and voila I found another one loved it bought two of them loved wearing them well this one in fact I can feel it um, this one has been broken I, my husband's glued it together Let's see, here, here, let's see, so it's got two, so it's got two cracks because um, I dropped them. And what happened was, after I dropped them, I was so concerned that I wouldn't be able to find any, but I remembered when I bought them that I, there was a word that they used and I thought I would look it up and see if I could find it online. Now this was a number of years ago before it was before the internet was big. So, but I remembered the word and it was resin. And I went to eBay because I knew that eBay had everything. And I went to eBay and I looked up the, re the word resin bangle or resin bracelet. Son of a gun. There they were. These are called Sobral, this jewelry. I had no idea. So I started out with two, right? And this was on eBay. And I bought more and more and more. Wait a second. And more. And I would wear these, or I still do. I wear them all together. I would wear them today, but they make, they make, look at that. Is that great looking? So they're all so brawl. I bought them one at a time. They're not expensive. Um, and I've been collecting them for years. And again, I got them on eBay. So these people started getting to know me as the woman with the bracelets. Wait, I've got more. Wait, got more. Look at these. Again, it's so brawl. 
as again, it's not Chanel, it's not, well, let's see, Cartier, it's not, um, it's none of those. It's not Gucci, it's not Pucci, nothing. But they're, they're, aren't they effective? Don't they look great? Wait a second, we got another like that. So you can go today and go to eBay, look up Sobral, and you can find these bracelets. And it adds just a little, it adds some style to, whoa, oh, wait, I forgot, I've got more. Wait, look at these. Now, I remember that they had a sale, and so, of course, I bought a bunch. Look at this. Oh, is that fabulous? So these are all items, they're, they're so brawl, they're not expensive, but you wear them. So here, I've got two flat ones with a, again, I bought these on sale. You just keep on looking. So I want to encourage you, if you've got a museum in town, go to the museum gift shop. Gift shop. That's the first place I hit when I go to museums. As an artist, I love going to museums all over the world. Um, my fa This was LA County Museum. Let me see which other, the Metropolitan Museum, I bought these earrings and they were from an early Netherlandish show at the Metropolitan Museum. And they're fashioned after a Vermeer painting. Here's the, the white pearl and the gray pearl. There, you can go online to the Metropolitan Museum of Art store. The same thing with the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. I bought fabulous things at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London, and you can buy them also. You can have them shipped to America. Uh, this, oh, look at this scarf. Wait a second. Look at this. Oops. And this, this is from the Museum of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles. I was in a show there um, just before COVID and saw this. Again, it's a, it's a scarf by an artist and it just transforms. Let me see if I can, uh, I'll get stuck. But so what, what you get from a museum store is that the pieces that are bought are the person who buys them has a really good eye. And so they're curators. And so you can be assured that what you're buying is something with style and has, a, has some style to it and has some je ne sais quoi to it. So I want to encourage you to go to your museum in your city when you travel, if you are traveling, go to the museum store go online to whatever museum, uh, MOCA, Museum of Contemporary Art, Metropolitan, Victoria and Albert, look at museum stores and you'll find, oh, San Francisco Museum of Art. I got a fabulous necklace from there and they're not expensive. I mean, yes, some things are expensive, but they also have very reasonably priced out, um, um, items because they know that they need to appeal to the broad public. Um, a couple of other things I wanted to tell you about. Um, a way to develop your style. There's a website and by, it's called Advanced Style. And the, um, the, the, the guy, Ari Seth Cohn, is the man who takes the photographs and has written books. And it's called Advanced Style. Well, so he's got a website, Advanced Style. And he's got, um, he's also got one on, on Instagram. And does he have, I don't know if he's got it on TikTok, but he has these books. And I really encourage you to look at his website, look at his books. Wait a second, let me get some photographs. I mean, because he, fig he features women that you don't have to be gorgeous. You don't have to be young. In fact, all of it, it, that's why it's called advanced style because he started taking photographs of older women because he loved his grandmother so and he wanted he was he was taking photographs of older women as a tribute to his grandmother his grandmother encouraged him to go to new york city and follow his dreams and take photographs and so he his whole 
All of his photographs are of older women. Wait a second. And he finds them on the street and he asks if he can take photographs of them. And they're all different, but they're all wonderful. Well, he also, wait a second, let me see. I've got, look at this. Just marvelous. And it's a way for you to train your eye as to style, as to, isn't this woman fabulous? Wonderful. I wanted to show you this book, Advanced Love. And what he did was he found couples who had been married a long time and who had, <clears throat> who had style, and he featured my husband and myself. So I thought maybe you'd get a kick out of that. Wait a second. Wait a second. Here we are. So that's my husband and myself in our backyard. Wait a second. So this book is called Advanced Love. Now, he also made a documentary and it's called Advanced Style and you can find, find it on Amazon Prime and you can rent it for $4.99. Now, if you think about it, $4.99 in Los Angeles, you can't even park your car for $4.99. And they also have, um, uh, you'll enjoy watching a video with Iris Apfel and again, of Amazon Prime, and that one costs $3.99 to rent. I've got it written down here. And there's another um, book, uh, another um, uh, documentary, Scatter My Ashes at Bergdorf's. So I think just by watching these documentaries, by taking a look at your museum stores, I just, um, I just looked at, I was looking at Mocha's museum store and they had some wonderful items. And I was thinking, you know, this is perfect. It, it, from a coin, coin purse to a t-shirt, it's doing something that is out of the ordinary. It's not just a white t-shirt. It's not a t-shirt made for older women. It's something new. It's something has an edge to it. Um, so I would encourage you to look outside the box. Try something outside the box that people will be surprised that you even, isn't that interesting? Where did you find that? People are always asking me about my jewelry. Go to thrift stores, find the little, find the little pieces that nobody else has found yet. As I say, this, this, wonderful, this wonderful pin I'm sure that they have some marvelous things in thrift stores. Iris Apfel, do you know who she is? She's this, the, um, the documentary about her was made when she was 96. So that was four years ago because I believe this year she's 100. And she was a little frail then, but you can see at 96, she was still sharp as a tack and piled the jewelry on. She would put this on, wait a second, and this on and this on, and this on, and this on. I mean, she would she would do it all and get it all on. She would be out, absolutely outrageous. But that woman had style. Who else had style? If you think about it, Diana Vreeland. You know, she used to be the editor of Vogue magazine. And I remember she had her living room all red and she would dress outrageously. Again, she wasn't beautiful, but she made herself beautiful. She wore her black hair just slicked back and her white, she, she wore very pale, um, powdery um, makeup. So I'm suggesting a way to not be invisible is to add some style into your life. And these are some ways of adding style and it doesn't have to be expensive. Buy a denim jacket. How many of you have denim trucker jackets? Put a fabulous rhinestone pin on it. Or put, it. I take that back, put five pins on it. It always has to be um, an odd number. So put a, a bunch of, of um, rhinestone pins on it. Let's see, what else? I mean, I love Levi's. I love denim. If I could, I'd probably wear denim every day. What else can I think of? 
I think that's about it. Wear red lipstick. You saw, I don't know, have you seen my video, my YouTube video on red lipstick? Wear red lipstick, don't be invisible. Have style, red lipstick, some outrageous piece of jewelry, combine Levi's with dressy, with, with um, rhinestones. What am I wearing? These are pearls. I the, get rhinestone earrings. Find artists, artist scarves, some artist jewelry, artist, you know, some, they have eyes, you know, that may be different than yours. Wear an artist scarf. Be outrageous. Now's the time. Oops, I forgot to ask you to subscribe and also to hit the little bell so that you'll be notified every time I make a video and also to hit the little thumbs up button, meaning that you liked the video, which I hope you did.